And yeah, I don't know if it's the ROM or if it was actually like that, but everything shuffled over to the side. So, as long as the uh, loading thing on the side doesn't bug you that much, then we're good. Also odd that he doesn't have his hat in the picture, but he does in the sprite. Or maybe they decided a balding, whatever the fuck it is, was uh, too creepy, so they put a hat on it. Take diabetic coma, just wearing its skin now. So the actual object is just to find a bunch of keys. I'm not sure if there's six in every level. I know there's six in this one. See the thing's nose coming out of the back of his neck there. <laughs> like it's a hoodie. Always the most kiddie things are actually the most horrific. <laughs> it's like the lizard. He likes the lizard. Though it's asleep, so I don't know what to make of that. This thing is hella useless though because it can't really fight. It walks up walls though. such a dick positioning. Oh, you can stun them with the candy, okay. Absolute douchebaggery. <laughs> I 
Oh, lizard, why are you necessary? You suck. And like in the very next level, you get a gorilla that's even better. Oh, there's the last game. Fuck off, Mom. I'm a dream master. Just an Ewok crossbred with a who. So I just noticed the gorilla has glasses. get the B power down there. Okay. How are you supposed to get down there? I have no idea.
other keys I got not there anymore? Hey, what up, Bob? It's not the, like, super metal version of uh, what you normally do, which is put monsters in a diabetic coma and then, like, yank their skeleton out and use their skin. Wait a sec. said the lizard's in the trees, so maybe I can actually transition the screen up from here. Assuming I don't fucking die. Aha! Okay. things are dicks. And then you're telling me to jump on the useless ass lizard. <laughs> oh, this isn't gonna end well. See? At least I now know what I must do. Yeah, it was complete. The fact of the f the fact was completely lost on me that Capcom made this. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a Capcom game. Especially in 1990, after they'd made several Mega Man's. Damage boost, speedrun strats. Don't you... Last thing I want to do is actually get damaged by the damn lizard. That was literally his entire purpose, is just so I could, uh... become the bee. So you only get three air jumps. You see what I mean? Put it in a coma, scoop out the innards, and now you have your suit. Yes, those guys are awesome. Oh, that sucks. Alright, fine. Guys, win? Nope. And I can't get out. Lovely. 
sure hope there was nothing important in that other river. Or pool of water. Whatever the hell you want to call it. I think as a kid I just got stuck on this level because I never realized you can transition upwards. And I'm going to guess that last key is in that water pool that I ignored. Nice to be checkpointed though. skin suit. Well now. So, Bob, when's that retro co-op uh, fight gate stream? Jeez, Nemo get out of bed. Nemo go back to bed. Parents, am I right? I was thinking we could totally do like two player rampage and shit. That would be awesome. Pretty sweet. Yeah, no, I got stuck on level two as a kid, and this is honestly like the first time I've played it since. Probably saw a speedrun of it at a GDQ that I slept through. It was like the 2013 through 2015 GDQs, I'd literally stay up for the entire thing. spot. There is a game I haven't heard of, heard about in a while. Ooh, okay. So what you're saying is I have to do it without safe states. Spot was reading about it in Nintendo Power, so uh, yeah, who knows?
I don't know, I was thinking of doing kind of a stream segment and just call it Nintendo Hard, where I just beat, like, Nintendo Hard games. Or at least attempt to. Yeah, Arrow's pretty goddamn hard. And again, so is Lion King. And to a lesser extent, Aladdin, until you know what you're doing. Something tells me they just like reskin, like kind of reskinned a bunch of assets from other games to make this. I mean, it turned out to be hella good, but yeah. There's a whole bunch of stuff from other Capcom games, and now that I look at it, I'm like, oh yeah, that's from this, that's from this. Classic NES games, uh, there's a hella premium on those. Oh, yeah, Tomba PS1. Doi. say that, but it's only a bit until they breed a new drug-resistant uh, strain. Gotta be the damn auto scrollers. <laughs> ever been your focus, then focus on a console you like. Little, the thing is bigger than me. flood. Feels bad. Oh, 
a little Samson, huh? Hooray, progress! That's a dick move. At least I don't have to get the key. Yes, I do have to get the key again because that's a game over. Ah, uh, okay. This game does not fuck around. But even if I didn't get stuck as a kid, I'd probably get stuck here. My platforming skills and patience were both very terrible as a child. And I'd say I only improved my platforming skills since then. I say that and then I die. Oh well, yeah, Capcom was giving you the real arcade experience, which was, fuck you, give me tokens. Is that game even any good? I have been doing a lot of NES Capcom streaming. Well, with Mega Man Maker, and then Darkwing Duck. Okay, crushing spike room, of course. This is post post Mega Man Capcom. They always gotta do that. It's funny, Tailspin was one of those IPs I just never got into. Oh yeah, it's cool as hell, but I don't make it easy. Awesome, dude. Okay, it's terrible, but it's awesome. Same with the original Bubsy. Sega Kid. I 
another cool aspect of the design of this, which I didn't think the Nintendo would actually be capable of, is you have more momentum going off of the train than you do just on the standard platforms. like multi-momentum I wouldn't think would actually be possible on the NES. Or maybe I just can't think of a game that uses it. Oh, that's just a dick move. So what happens when you miss a key? Because you can't exactly go back. So you just gotta do it. Or else I guess you fail. Probably just a wall of spikes at the end, and if you can't activate the door, then fuck you, you're dead. Okay, I guess this was kind of spurned on. Just me playing this was spurned on by the fact that I went, to uh, I just went looking at my VODs yesterday and I re-watched me, uh, my birthday stream from 2019. Where I played through a bunch of, uh, obscure NES games I had. And I'm like, you know what I should do is, like, just do a whole bunch of them that I rented but never beat. frames. I guess I'm on uh, the rotation to get throttled now. Yes, don't ask me how this is legal, but Rogers can put everybody on a list and then just selectively throttle them to quote-unquote save bandwidth. Even though I have 30 megs up, it should have no problem doing six. got into Tiny Toons. Oh yeah, I was, I was a little bit old for it. What up? I'm on a train. Yeah, I'm alright. Okay, those things just drop randomly. I've concluded that's entirely RNG. Too bad. Woke up feeling pretty well. Been a good day so far. Had some hella spicy jerk chicken for dinner. Feeling good. How you doing? See? What is that? sometimes two spawn there. Just as long as I have one HP for this so I can't fuck it up, right? 
Is that what you're telling me, game? Let's just get to the spike fuckery. you're saying in a sec. I don't feel like getting screwed over being this far into it. Hey! Oh, so there was actually eight keys in the level, but you only need six. Crazy. 